Problem number three states the order is erythromycin suspension 75 milligrams POQID. The stock supply is labeled 250 milligrams per 5 milliliters. How many milliliters would be given? To solve this problem, we need to answer the question, which is asking how many milliliters should be given. That we'll set as our goal. To begin the solution, we'll start with the doctor's orders expressed as a fraction, which is 75 milligrams over 1, the understood denominator. Next, we will create a conversion factor fraction such that the current unit of this drug in milligrams will be converted into eventually milliliters. Since we have milligrams in the numerator, our conversion fraction needs to have milligrams in the denominator so that they cancel out. The problem indicates that this medicine currently is available in a ratio of 250 milligrams per 5 milliliters, giving us these two values equal to one another. Placing equivalent values in the numerator and the denominator creates a fraction that has a value of 1. Multiplying by 1 does not change a value but in this case, it will allow us to convert from one unit to the other. In fraction multiplication, if we have common factors in the numerator and the denominator, which is the case here, having milligrams, since we have the same factor in the numerator and the denominator, they have a value of 1 and can be canceled out. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together to create the new numerator, and we multiply the denominators together to create the new denominator. Here we have our answer with one remaining step to simplify the division 375 in the numerator by the denominator 250 gives us a quotient and a final simplified form of the answer being 1.5 milliliters. In this problem, the order included POQID. PO is Latin for per as or by opening, which will translate by mouth in today's English translation. The QID is Latin for equator in D or four times a day. So put it together, POQID means by mouth four times per day. We just calculated the medication per dosage to answer the question. For a day, we would need to multiply this amount by 4 for a total of 6 milliliters per day. Problem 4 states the doctor ordered 125 milligrams of penicillin. On hand is 500 milligrams per 5 milliliter. How many milliliter would you give? To answer the question, we need our solution in milliliters, so we'll set milliliters as the goal. To solve the problem, we'll begin with the doctor's order. For multidimensional analysis, we'll take that order and express it as a fraction, which in this case we'll put a denominator of 1. Following the procedure from the previous problem, we need to set up a conversion factor fraction that will allow us to eliminate milligrams. To do that, since currently we have milligrams in the numerator, our conversion factor needs to have milligrams in the denominator. The problem gives a relationship between milligrams and milliliters shown here. Taking these equivalent values and expressing them as a fraction, placing the milligram value in the denominator and its equivalent value in the numerator creates a fraction with a value of 1, a very special one that will allow us to convert from one unit to the other. In multiplication of fractions, we can cancel out common factors in the numerator and the denominator since they equal 1. Next, we'll multiply the numerators together to create the new numerator, multiply the denominators to create the new denominator. Here we have our answer. With one final step, we'll do the implied division 
numerator, 625 divided by 500, for a simplified answer of 125 milliliters.